Sorry we can't get to the phone right now, but please leave a message and I'll call you back. Uh, hey, uh, Dad, it is Ava. It's 1300 hours, Thursday 12th. I got home early, so I tried to surprise you, but it looks like you're not here. Did you give me a call when you get this? South Africa. Oh, I spent three years trying to convince the community that Glostopoulos was a conifer and not a fern. They insisted it wasn't, and I lost all my funding. Oh, Cass, I'm sorry. What is a Glossopteris? Glossopteris is an extinct genus of fossilized plants. They were once a dominant life form on the planet, and their existence helps to prove that Gondwana was a supercontinent. Botswana was a continent. <laughs> no. Oh, it is lucky you're pretty. <laughs> You've heard of the concept of supercontinents, right? That originally the planet was made up of two giant islands that's gradually split over time. Gondwana is the name for what's now South America, Africa, India, Australia, New Zealand, and Antarctica. They were originally melded together as one. Now we know Glostopris used to inhabit Gondwana and we've since found it fossilised in all of those territories individually. So that proves that they're once all joined up. Exactly. Yeah. See, he gets it. <laughs> and how are you doing, Ava? How was the tour? Mm. Intense, like most of them. But I like to think we're bringing stability to the region. Look at you, out saving the world. Mm. I wouldn't quite put it like that. And how's your dad? He hasn't been by the lab for a while. Oh, uh, I don't know. Haven't heard from him yet. Well, it's good to have you back. So having Ava back. Morning, stud. How'd you sleep? What's up? This letter was dated six weeks ago. When was the last time you heard from him? Um, it must have been about two months ago. I called Dad from K1 on a day off. I, I tried calling him yesterday. No answer. Maybe they left you a note. Is your dad like a spy? He's an archaeologist. That's all research. Well, 
Looks like he was looking for something. Well, he was. He was looking for the island my granddad went to when he was younger. Became kind of obsessed with it. That's why we moved to England. spoken for a while obviously I was away before you left so we didn't get a chance to say goodbye properly but I'm thinking about you every day and I can't wait to see you but to the point great news Lindsay found something part of a map well more a sea chart really but it's an exact match to granddad's island and we think we figured out where it is this is it I think this is the big one. So we're setting off first thing in the morning, and we should be no more than two weeks. So we'll be back long before you finish your tour. I'll tell you all about it when I see you. Love you, pumpkin. See you soon. Oh, at least we know where he is. And what's Granddad's Island? Oh. It's the island my granddad went to before he died. He was an archaeologist too. That's where dad got the bug. He used to help him at work. But when I was like five, my granddad went to some uncharted island and we never heard from him again. Like eight of them went, only one made it back. Some guy named Fitz totally lost his marbles. He's in a home now, but we never heard from granddad again. And Dad never gave up looking for him. I wonder what happened to them all. Hmm. You and me both. Okay, Miss Merrick. I just spoke to my dad's team in Walsall. They haven't heard from him in weeks. I'm sure he's fine. It's a remote island. There's probably no signal, right? He should have been back weeks ago. What if he's in trouble? <laughs> There's no system to any of this. Hey, and that is so disorganized. I mean, look at this mess. So I wonder if you can find a ring binder, let alone an island. Ava, I think I found something. Um, it's two days ago from the port. All the kids packed the five of us leave at first online. Wait, this is it, Luke. Glad I could help. Hey, I can get a boat. I can go after him. What do you mean? It is a classic extraction. This is what I do, Luke. And this is the island your granddad disappeared from, right? Yeah, that is why I have to go. I can't... I can't lose both of you. Not after Mom. Hey. I'm going, Luke. Then I'm going with you. Maybe I could be your bodyguard, you know, protect you from the locals. <laughs> You guys really like plants, huh? 
They predate the human race, they're responsible for the air that we breathe, and they form the bedrock of every living ecosystem. Imagine you had your feet stuck in cement your entire life. How would you hunt, evade predators, mate? <laughs> I can assure you, I'd have no trouble mating. <laughs> you know, this looks like an arboreales. It is. Wow. Have you actually been listening to me all of these years? Maybe she learned by osmosis? <laughs> Plants do that. It's a plant-based joke. Yeah, uh, my granddad brought one back from a dig once. I remembered it because it looked like a tongue. You know, that is actually why we're here. You're here about your granddad? Mm-hmm. You know the island? Dad found it. He's found it. How? He found a map. And then Dad went with Lindsay to the island, but no one's heard from them, and they haven't been back for like a month. So, we are going after them. Me and Luke. Okay, and you're here to... Ask you to come with us. You said you lost your funding for the South Africa project, right? Yeah, but we haven't... Well, I have got you a new one. Funded by yours truly. Mm-hmm. Like, it's an uncharted island. It will be an archaeologist's dream. Uh, I'm a paleobotanist. It will be a paleobotanist dream. I'll have to ask for me. Well, I'll bring him with us. We'll need the whole team. When are you leaving? Tomorrow. We'll pick you up on route to the docks. Fine. But if we discover a new species, I'm taking all the credit. It's been some time since he's had a visitor. You'll be glad of the company, but please don't be upset when he doesn't talk to you. Of course. Someone's here to see you, Arthur. Isn't that nice? Hey, Fitz. Um, I don't know if you remember me, but I'm Carl's granddaughter. Ava? Do you remember Carl? We, we used to work together. I'm, I'm sorry that Dad and I haven't been to visit more. After we lost Granddad, it was really hard. Dad threw himself into work. Uh, he got a, a job offer at Walsall University and spent most of his time digging around Europe. I, um, I wanted to talk to you about that trip. The one with Grandad. About the island. Dad's found it. And he's there now. But we haven't heard from him. And he should have been back ages ago. I'm scared. I'm scared that something's gone wrong. And after we lost Grandad and then Mom, if he doesn't come home, Fitz, I don't know what I'm gonna do. We are going after him tomorrow. Um, and I found, I found this. No, 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 you can't. He is madness. No, 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 you can't, you can't. Death. What have you been saying to him? I'm sorry. island no 
it's only death. Do not go near it. I beg of you. Thing. Didn't even know I was there, poor thing. Plan still goes ahead? Mm-hmm. Plan still goes ahead. Hello? Shut. What do you mean you're shut? The sign on the door literally says open. Yeah, well, we just shut. I need a boat. Good for you. You do not understand. Sure I do. You need a boat. Look, I have a map to an island. Look, I'm on a level with you, okay? I've got two deflated ribs. Rope burn on both hands, and I'm pretty sure the kid I hired to clean the boathouse is stealing from me. So, unless that map is drawn on the back of a very large check, the answer is no. Well, how about you point me in the direction of someone who might be more accommodating? 10,000. What? 10,000 pounds. I will take you wherever you want to go. I'll give you a hundred. Deal. It's phenomenal. Simply phenomenal. You can keep it if you'd like. Hey, look. <laughs> There's an insect fossilized on the leaf. Hey, Cassie. Do you know what this can tell us about this ecosystem? You know, we've got tons of those knocking around back home. If you want, when we get back, you can take a look around. Take anything you want. Why has Cassie waited till now to introduce us? Africa will seem like a bad dream before long. Right, Tommy? Well, this looks a bit ropey. Funny. started with Ava's dad, really. When we were kids, he used to bury his fossils in Ava's sunset and make us bury them out. <laughs> she hated it. She just wanted to play desert soldiers. She used to cut the hair off her Barbies and make them fight because Ed wouldn't buy her G.I. Joes. But I loved it. I applied to do systematic at Imperial and was given Tommy as my advisor. He offered me a grant to change courses to botany. Turns out he was the country's leading botanist. So that was that. Brightest student I've ever had. It's the first year they offered the course. So I'm your first and only student, plus you had to bribe me with money. <laughs> it doesn't make it more true. There's a distress signal. Looks like it's coming from your island. planning using that on me. Yeah, I don't know if you heard, it's now Michael, he's... Yeah, I heard those uh, distress signals. 
sure they're fine though. But he'd probably just break them down and they'd be waiting for someone to come mm. get them. Yeah, sure. Okay, but I promise everything's gonna be fine. Well, uh, leave you and Stanley together, right? <laughs> <laughs> Wake up, we're here. Guys, you're gonna wanna see this. I think I found the beacon. Well, where's the boat? I think this is the boat. Well, now we know why they didn't sail home, eh? What? What? Maybe a storm came in while they were exploring the island, and that, that washed the, the boat up on the rocks, and that set off the beacon. Look, your dad's a smart man. Look, there's a camp on this map. I bet you anything, they made it here, and then headed straight there. I thought it gone extinct. And the pomony is endemic to Ecuador. What is it doing flourishing as high up the equator? I guess that's science speak for what's with all these weird plants. I was wondering that myself. <laughs> Holy shit. Good grief. It's a dinosaur. <laughs> now there's something you don't see every day. process. It's held by the shape of its front horn. It's longer and it's got a short beak. We need to set up camp. Start taking samples. Get your dictive horn out. Hey, hey, no one's doing anything or going anywhere until we found Ava's parents. Don't get me wrong. I'm losing my shit as well. But until we know that Ed and Lindsay are safe, we're going to stick together and we're going to track them down. Okay? Does that include me? Yes. That includes you, Captain Bird's Eye. You're part of the team now. And no one wander off. We don't know what else is in these woods. So you and Cassie, do you ever take advantage of that student-teacher relationship, if you know what I mean? No, I don't know what you mean. You know, have you two ever... Just so you know, when someone says, I don't know what you mean, it's not that they don't understand what you said, it's that they can't comprehend why you're saying it. All right, calm down, guy. You're, you're made of the species, aren't you? Oh! Oh! No, 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 don't do that. Don't do that. What you expect me to do? Let the sucker fill up on my blood and then infect me with whatever jungle virus it's carrying? No, I was going to remove it for you, safely. Leeches don't carry diseases. But if you pull it off like you've just done, 
you can tear their entire body away from his teeth, which can rot inside you and cause all sorts of other problems. Well, now it can't be a problem for anyone. Firstly, while very heroic of you, that doesn't solve the problem of his teeth currently stuck in your leg. And secondly, we're surrounded by a middle of an ecosystem we know nothing about. Surrounded by plants and animals we know nothing about. And killing them isn't going to help us garner any useful or helpful information. Yeah, well, why don't you go and garner some new and helpful information by yourself and leave me to it, dog, yeah? Ah. Oh. At least let me clean the wound for you. What have you been feeding on that has black blood? Where are we? Science man. Come and look at this. Been made by a theropod. Big one. Maybe an Allosaurus. Looks bigger. Could be a shoe bill. Balancepsis Rex. Like a giant stalk I saw on the side of a house in Africa one day. Like huge. Unfortunately for us, I think it's one of his distant relatives. Tyrannosaur. Could be. That's just perfect. My dad's back. Is it always look like that? No. No, I got it new for him on his last dig. Oh. At least you know they made it off the boat. Hey! Your man, he reckons there's a T-Rex knocking about these woods. I'll be frank with you, that's not what I signed up for, so if you want me to stick around, I'm gonna, I'm gonna need something extra. Why are you listening to me? Hey, chill out, chill out, chill out. Stop, tell Romeo here what you just told me. We found tracks in the ground. I think it's a Tyrannosaur. It's heading that way to the coast, but it's still fresh. Still want me to chill out? Now I ain't doing this for nothing. So unless you're about to offer me a considerable amount of money, I'm heading back to my boat right now, and you can all swim home. Take this. Video evidence of the Triceratops. It's worth a fortune. And I don't know, you could write a book, or do canoe tours or something. You're lucky to be here. It's a privilege to see these animals. Ah! Are you okay? Ah, ah. Something in the back of my head. Ah. Do you suffer from migraines? Could it be the humidity of the Get place? off me, get off me, I'm fine, I'm fine. Let's just leave the stupid place and find a stupid camp. You okay? They made it to the camp. Come on, let's go. Dad! Lindsay! Dad! Lindsay! The man just said, shut your trap. I heard what the man said. Yeah. Think about doing it. Dozy bitch. Jesus. Oh, God. Oh, all right. All right. All right. Three weeks ago, I was pointing a gun at a 13-year-old boy who had been coerced by a bunch of religious maniacs to point an RPG at a truck full of American soldiers. You see, I knew those soldiers and they were the biggest bunch of heinous assholes you could imagine. So in that moment, I had to decide whether I was willing to take a child's life or save six men who I had seen do ungodly things to a bunch of innocent civilians. So please do not think that because you have a twig and berries between your leg that somehow you're more robust 
level-headed, and a better decision-maker than me. Oh. Oh. You work for me. As long as you do as I say, go where I go, and get us home safely, I will make sure that you are well looked after. Until then, keep your trap shut unless I tell you otherwise. Okay, sweetheart? They're not here. There's a good chance they're not far from here. They probably just started another dig or something. You know, I was really hoping that you were gonna be right and we would just find them on the beach relaxing. But I cannot shake the feeling that something's wrong. Hey, we came here to find your dad. We're not leaving without him. We found the camp, didn't we? We just need to press on, okay? You're not going to break my arm, are you? Yeah. <laughs> and your feet, guys, we're moving. Michael. Are you okay? Oh, yeah. <laughs> you really gave it to him back there. Mm. Guys like him are all bark and no bite. Isn't that right, Cass? Cass? Where did they go?
Mary, it's Joseph. Oh, what happened? He attacked me. His eyes went black. <coughs> I'm gonna kill him. He wasn't himself. I'm not gonna get up in the bridge. He attacked me, I have to defend myself. I don't get what came over him. What made him do that? I've been thinking. There's a fungus called Ophiocordyceps unilateralis. It affects jungle ants in Brazil. It enters the ants' bloodstreams as single cells. Then multiply, like a cancer. It disconnects the ant's motor skills from his high brain function. I think Michael suffered from some so form of insidious infection, something that turned off his prefrontal cortex, turned off his controls, rendered him at the whims of his most primal desires, fighting, mating, Killing. What are you saying? We wanted to come here. There are extinct life forms on this island. Anyone would kill the sea. Look. All these ecosystems have defense mechanisms, ways of keeping external forces out. Guess just we just never encountered these ones before. That's not your fault. I can't get his face out of my head. His eyes. <sighs> I'm sorry for what happened. So let's bring you to this island. But tomorrow, we're gonna get you back on that boat and get you home, okay? But how? Without Michael, I can drive the boat. What about your dad? We just need to get you home. That's all that matters right now. It will be getting dark soon. We should all get some rest before we do anything tomorrow. Meaning to ask you, why have you come here? I used to come to a lake like this with my dad before I lost him. I was 17 and, well, Ava was there for me then. And, well, don't want her to lose her dad as well, so here I am. Well, you're here now. Anyway, we should probably get back to them. When I was younger, Dad used to take Cassie and me camping. I know. We would go to little streams like this, and one year, uh, we went to Snowden and built a massive dam. And we went back the following year. And then a new stream had formed. We went down the mountain and found 
like I formed a lake at the bottom, and there was a lamb that was drinking from it. It's funny how um, one small action can change so many things. Are you sure you want to leave today? You don't want to stay? Bradley could have died yesterday. Michael did die. We need to leave before anything else happens. What about your dad? I was looking through their things yesterday and I think I know where they're going next. I made my decision. We're leaving. I have to ask that. That story you told Michael yesterday about the child soldier. I'm sorry, I didn't say that. You up early? I've just been compiling a few specimens. I'm trying to build up as much of a portfolio as I can before I head back to the boat. What have you done with the loot? What do you mean? It's not in the jar. Ah! Something was carrying that infection. I've just figured out what it was. Ah, ah. Head sitting. Cassie, give me the knife. Cassie, give me the knife. Give it to me. Give it to me now! Can't believe Michael was right. We really need to...
Jacob. Do you know him? Yeah, he's part of my dad's research team. Do you know where my dad is? Where Lindsay is? <laughs> Do you know what happened to them? Luke, could you take Cassie behind the trees over there for me? I don't want you to see this. That's not good. Predatory species never stray too far from their nest. Ava, we need to go now. Just give me a sec. I said go. We're in the middle of their nest. We need to leave now. I said go. Give me a sec. Guys, okay. reading my dad's journal, it looks like most of his team got infected. I think that's what happened to Jacob and Michael. Tommy thought that it could be something fungal, something that you breeds in. It's the leeches. That's how it's spreading. The one we had in the jar, it got out and it got Tommy. Oh, God. It changed him. Like Michael, like that guy, I saw it. His eyes went black. He lost all control and he tried to attack me. What happened? The raptor. I got him. I ran. Tommy, is, is he dead? I don't know. Well, we have to go back. What? We have to go back for Tommy in case he's alive. Get him to the boat, to the mainland, to a hospital. Maybe they can cure him. I think he's been on saving loop. No, our priority is getting Cassie back to the boat. Yeah, and what about Tommy? Tommy would go back for Cass, and I'd like to think he'd do the same for me. Oh God, we left all the research at camp. <laughs> all the more reason to go back. Look. I'll go back for Tommy, and while I'm there, I'll grab the kid. I don't care about the research. I care about you. The whole reason your dad came here, your granddad came here, was to document this place. If we can't bring them back, let me bring their research back at least. There are two routes back to the coast on this map. Take this one. We'll take you out of the woods, away from here, and away from that nest. If you haven't caught up with us by the time we get to the boat, I'm coming back for you. I'll be there. Oh, go on, go. Get out of here, go on, go! How are you holding up? Just want to get off this island. Well, Luke should be back soon. Hopefully we can bring Tommy home safely, get into a hospital, figure out what this infection is and get rid of it. We both know Tommy isn't making it back, Ava. I'm sorry, Cass. We're not soldiers, Ava. We're scientists. Tommy should be back in his lab working on getting his thesis published and now he's lying dead in those woods. Oh, and now your boyfriend's wandered off and God knows when he'll be back. We should never have come here. I had no idea what was on this island. I no. I never would have brought you here if I knew. I, you've always prided yourself on your ability to make others do what you want. Look where it's got you. Look where it's got us. Cass, listen. No. I don't want to hear it, Ava. You can't undo this. Let's just get going. I don't want to spend a second longer on this island than I have to.
que mirar. Lindsay? Uh. Lindsay? <laughs> Lindsay? Lindsay? <laughs> Lindsay? Lindsay? It's, it's me. Sarah. I'm not gonna hurt you. Lindsay? Where's Brad? What's wrong with us? I'm telling you. She's infected, her eyes are fine. At least not with whatever Michael and Jacob had. I think she's in shock. We need to go. Lindsay, Lindsay. We need to go. Either you can stay here with that or come with us. Come on. Ava. Guess what? Lindsay. <gasps> Is she okay? No. She hasn't said a word. I've got Tommy's research. We got something out of this trip.
listen to you. What's wrong? What's up with her? I don't know. She's gone mad, dude. That's what's up with her. <gasps> Lindsay! Ava! No, I have to go after her. No, we need to stick together. I can't leave her alone. How is this any different than Tom? This is my stepmom. What I mean is we all need to go together. Isn't that right, Cass? Well, I'm not going back into those woods. Take Cass back to the park for me. Cass? I love you. You know that, right? Take care of her for me. I'll meet you back at the boat. Christ, fine. I'll meet you back at the boat. Sorry, Cass. I didn't mean to put you on the spot like that. So she wants to chase after that crazy woman. Which you're welcome to. What's that? Yeah. It's moving fast. And against the wind. Run! <sighs> Lindsay. Lindsay! My dad. I need to know. We should be able to cut through these trees. It'll take longer, but we'll be undercover the whole time. Talk to me. I need to know, even the worst of it. My dad. Is, is he? Yeah. He, um, we set up camp and everything was fine for the first few days. Um, we were doing really good work, you know, cataloging and recording everything. But then, uh, whatever it was on this island, it got him, just like it had the others. Ed, he was different, he changed. He got angry, he attacked me. But it wasn't him, it wasn't himself. I mean, he didn't mean it. And um, what happened to your boat? Because when we got here, it was completely destroyed. Some of the men tried to flee. They were going to leave us here. But then something in the sea, it got them. It's in the sea. It was big. Your dad thought it was something semi-amphibious. Our boat is moored on that same beach. It's our only means of getting home. Oh, look, Ava. I know I haven't always been there for you, but... After your mum died, I... I know I could never replace her. I just wanted be someone you could always come to. Someone who you knew really cared about you. I tried to be someone you could have come to. And I know it hasn't been easy with your dad and I being away so much. I know you really miss him. But I just didn't want you to think I was trying to steal him away from you. I know you didn't. Dad was always married to his job and not your mom. I know. 
I just wanted you to understand. I really loved your dad. Why are you saying this? Why are you saying this? Lindsay. He didn't make it.
Let's see. Boat's still here. <laughs> God, that's how we're going to take it every day. Not at everything. <laughs> I think I figured it out, you know. This island. Remember what Cassie was saying about these prehistoric supercontinents? They're all separated and split off into the sea. I think that's how this place came to be. Well, I don't care how it came to be. I just hope that we never have to come here ever again. Come on, let's get off this island. I can't leave. I can feel it, Ava. I can feel it behind my eyes. I can feel it changing me. I can't leave this island. But you can. Come on! Come on! Look! 